Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to another edition of No DQ&A video right here on youtube.com slash nodqcw. And as always, nodq.com, your source for the very latest in WWE and TNA. Let's not waste any more time, let's get right down to your questions. This first one today comes from Sting HBK 316 What do you think of the idea of Undertaker versus Mick Foley at a future WrestleMania? Foley talks about not being the same physically since Hell in a Cell 98, blames Undertaker, is bitter that, he, that that's all he's remembered for, wants revenge, best revenge is to end Undertaker's streak. Hardcore rules. How epic. On paper, that sounds like a great idea, but realistically, I think it's highly unlikely we'll ever see that match. I actually think that it's probably as close to 0% chance happening right now um, as possible. Doctors have told Mick Foley that he cannot wrestle anymore, and um, you know, a year or two ago, I was uh, talking about the idea of doing that match for WrestleMania. I, th I thought it would be a really good uh, way to have Mick Foley come back and have one more big match against Undertaker and, and play up their whole feud from the Attitude Era, but Mick Foley is just not physically able to compete anymore, and I don't think he would want to come back and be in a match that is subpar. If Mick Foley can't go out there and, and give it 100% and be be the Mick Foley of old, I don't think he would want to do another match. And we all know what's going on with Undertaker and his health is declining and, and uh, he's he's breaking down. He can't really do a whole lot anymore. Uh, so Undertaker needs to be in there with a current guy that is at the top of his game, somebody who can carry the Undertaker. So doing doing Undertaker versus Mick Foley in this, in this day and age just isn't going to work, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, it would be a, a epic match, no doubt about it. Let those two go out there and just have a crazy no-holds-barred match like old times. Um, it would be awesome, but you know, some things are just not meant to be. Why did WWE make fun of WCW? They used old wrestlers. Now WWE brings back Duggan, Snooka, Iron Sheik, etc. every chance they get. Uh, WWE going old school. Doesn't this prevent WWE from moving forward and evolving? They're two very different things. With WCW, they were they were bringing in old wrestlers and they were pushing those old wrestlers to the top and and building the company around those old wrestlers. Here, WWE is bringing back legends every now and then for a special event. You know, they have these themed episodes of WWE Raw and they're doing the old school Raw this week. So, when you do it every once in a while, and it doesn't, it isn't the focal point of the company, you're not building the company around these guys, I really so, see no issue in doing it. it it's, it's not that big of a deal. And you know, WrestleMania is coming up, they still have plenty of time to build up WrestleMania, and I'm sure um, despite the old school gimmick, there'll still be a lot of build up towards WrestleMania. Who knows, we might see The Undertaker return. Um, but I, I'm sure that they'll continue to have um, the storylines progress. Uh, building up to WrestleMania. So I don't think old school Raw will be too much of a distraction, but it is cool to have uh, things change up every now and then, do something different. And the first old school Raw was a huge success. Uh, in my personal opinion, I thought it was one of the best Raws of 2010. So I'm glad they're doing it, doing it again. And um, I'm looking forward to this Monday's Raw. And I think a lot of other people are as well. This one comes from Showstopper526. Hey Aaron, big fan. What do you think of the pile driver on Monday and the fact that Vince McMahon was upset? I thought it made for a great moment. Also, Cena's powerbomb looked good, but his Hurricane Rana sucked. Your thoughts? It was definitely interesting to see a pile driver. We haven't seen a pile driver in WWE for a long time. Now, I can understand Vince being mad since the pile driver is a banned move, and I think it's banned for good reason because it is a dangerous move and you don't want to jeopardize the health of your performers. We saw what happened with Steve Austin all those years ago when he took the pile driver from Owen Hart. Um, so I, I, uh, I can understand why they would want to ban it and not use it. But on the other hand, if you do it every once in a while, I don't think it's a huge deal. And, uh, you know, these guys are trained professionals, so, you know, they're, they're doing it as safely as possible. Um, but, it, I mean, it isn't really necessary to do a pile driver. It's not like doing a pile driver is all of a sudden going to boost up the ratings or anything. But it is nice to see... Uh, moves that we haven't seen in a long time and you know maybe Vince was overreacting a little bit if he in fact blew a gasket which is what is being reported but uh, that that sounds like typical Vince we always hear about Vince getting pissed off and and getting angry if things don't go a hundred percent according to plan uh, you know Vince Vince blows a gasket or whatever but it, you know it just sounds like typical Vince 
And, um, you know, we, we did get to see a bunch of different movies. You know what? They're, they were doing a 25-minute match, so uh, one would hope that they would uh, break out some different moves and, and do some different things. Uh, we, we saw the Batista bomb from John Cena and, uh, you know, Hurricane Rod and people were complaining about it, you know, it looked bad or whatever, but uh, at least he attempted to do something different, so give him credit for that. All right, the last one today comes from Ryan in San Pedro, a.k.a. Sheamus. Hey, Aaron, big fan from San Pedro. Since Lesnar is facing Triple H at WrestleMania, they should build it to where the Shield gets involved in this coming week's uh, Raw towards WrestleMania. So to prevent this, they put the match in a cage, hell in the cell maybe. Your thoughts. Please answer in video. Um, yeah, I would definitely like to see a different match uh, between Lesnar and Triple H. We already had the match at SummerSlam, and it was a regular match. So one would think for WrestleMania, you would up the ante for this match and escalate it and, and make it a bigger match and add a stipulation to it. Um, I don't know about Hell in the Cell since they already did Hell in the Cell last year. I think that they should do something different. Now, what match they would do, I'm not sure. Um, you know, they could just do a... Uh, no disqualification match or street fight or whatever, but I would definitely like to see a, a stipulation put into the match. One person uh, suggested the idea of an MMA style match. I don't I don't think that that would be a good idea. I think you should stick to a WWE style match. Um, you know, cage match wouldn't be the worst idea, but um, you know, it wouldn't seem quite as big as doing Hell in the Cell. So maybe you could bring back Hell in the Cell or. Um, you could just do a uh, street fight or whatever, or, or falls count anywhere. You know, actually, I think a falls count anywhere would would be good for those two. So I wouldn't mind seeing that, but definitely something where you throw the rule book out the window and just let those guys beat the crap out of each other. I think that that's what people want to see, and uh, you should uh, give them something like that for WrestleMania. All right, that'll do it for this edition of No DQ and A video. Thanks as always for watching. Subscribe YouTube.com/slash No DQCW. Check out all the other videos, no DQ and a video. We also have all the old talk wrestlings and the XMV episodes. So check those videos out. And I keep spreading the word on Facebook and Twitter. And I will see you next time for more no DQ and a video.